So we've been spending the week talking about King Saul and how he came to his position of prominence as king of Israel. A series of circumstances that Saul would have never, ever even have dreamed that this could ever happen. And not only could he not even have dreamed it could happen, he really didn't want it to happen. And now all of a sudden he finds himself thrust in this position as king of Israel. Nobody is interested in him being the king of Israel. They're kind of uh, just scratching their head over it. And then this circumstance happens where they're being attacked and uh, Saul ends up raising an army. And he leads the army into battle and they're victorious. And all of a sudden there's a change of heart in Israel. And everybody's going, Saul, Saul, he's our king. And anybody who was against him, we're going to kill him. And Saul said, no, we're not going to kill anybody. And they went ahead and they inaugurated him and made him the king of Israel. Now, I do have a point to all of this. And it's simply this, is it insecurity, and that's what I've titled this series of messages, is not a stranger to anybody. Now, a lot of times you'll see somebody and you just think, man, that person is just right on top of the world. I mean, they've got everything going for them. They're a famous movie star. They're a famous athlete. I mean, tall, good looking, got it, just got everything going, rolling in money. But my question is, why do we find so many of these people ending up addicted to drugs and alcohol and ending up dying at an early age? Why does that happen? Well, I'm going to tell you why it happens. It's because of insecurity. Everything can look really good on the surface and be pretty rotten underneath. And then you have these people like me. Yeah. <laughs> insecurity, yeah, I got lots of them. And uh, something that I've wrestled with like most people have wrestled with. But I have sought in my life to find favor with God. Now, you say, well, what does that mean? Does it mean that you're some great spiritual person? No, just the opposite. I'm a person who realized that I have a lot of flaws and I have a lot of failure in my life, and I realize that if I'm going to accomplish anything in this life, I have to have a relationship with the true and the living God. And the only way that's really going to happen is when I just become honest with myself and honest with God. Now, God, I, I could be a real mess here, but I seek your face and I seek your help. And God, I would ask that you would be right in the center of my life to help me to accomplish the things that I sense and feel that you're calling me to accomplish. And I need that right relationship with you, which comes from seeking after you. We see this is the flaw that happened with Saul. Is it he had all this greatness thrust upon him, but he didn't know how to handle it, and he didn't know how important it was that he have that relationship with the one person who could help him, and that's God. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.